sharing my planner with you guys for like the last five years multiple planners a year probably because i have a thing for planners so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the planner i will be using for this new year so i've shared with you planners that i've purchased online planners that i've purchased from walmart and target and i've also shared with you diy planners using stuff from uh, etsy and pinterest today's planner you guys is a little extra special because it's my very own uh, put it all together and it is available for digital purchase over on my etsy shop <laughs> check it out it is the ultimate mom slash life planner it has everything that you might need to organize your life your home and your year so that's why it's the ultimate planner so in today's video i'm going to just flip through it and share with you how i've set it all up and how i plan on using it i have used um uh, binding discs to put it all together now i do have my dividers from my happy planner and these are my happy planner uh discs binding discs that i am using so you get a cute cover page that says home binder and it's all nice and floral and you get two years at a glance 2022 and 2023 and also a place to add all your birthdays for the year so you can divide them by month and just see everything at a glance and i also added a few pages for goal setting for 2022, I am going to be categorizing my goals just because that's what I did last year and it really uh, narrowed it down for me. But you also get a blank one so you can customize what categories you want to focus on and uh, what you want to set goals in. And I added a bunch of trackers, including a bill tracker to track your bills. <laughs> so you add the bill the amount and when it's due and then you have a little slot for each of the months and you just check it off as you pay them and then you'll know which ones you have left and which ones are coming up and so forth and then a debt tracker just to keep track of your debt uh, whether it's a credit card or a big purchase that you made um, with credit or whatever so it you just track your payments and the amount that you made uh, the payment for and then what is your remaining balance and then I also have an income tracker. Uh, this one is a year at a glance. So each little grid here is for a month. And I like to have it just all in, in one, but you just get the date. Um, there's a space for the date, the description, and the amount and where it's coming from. But you also get uh, this more simple one that you can print out monthly if you like to organize it like that instead and you get an income tracker and an expense tracker and a password log because we all just need to stop resetting those passwords <laughs> you have a place for it now uh, your website the password and the email or username used and a cleaning checklist this cleaning checklist i am actually going to be laminating it and keeping it on my fridge so i can reuse it every week so the weekly uh, cleaning checklist to track those daily uh, tasks and then also yearly cleaning for those uh, seasonal things that you do like spring cleaning and you know that sort of decluttering stuff i don't know <laughs> and then also uh, books to read and reading log um, i'm trying to get back into reading again and so i want to track that and then also movies and shows that i might want to watch and again this is my happy planner so i'm using these happy planner uh, dividers Moving on to the monthly pages, uh, you get two sets of monthly pages, monthly calendars, one dated, one undated, just for you to use as you please. And then this page, so you can just see at a glance what's going on this month. And a habit tracker. I used to love tracking habits in my bullet journal. I was really big on bullet journaling for a little while and I wanted to bring a lot of the trackers and layouts that i would usually incorporate in my bullet journal i wanted to bring it in to this planner too now you're only going to get one page of habit tracker but you print out as many as you need you i would print out 12 so one for each month and then you will just circle the month that you are tracking and then the 
the habit that you are tracking and then you check it off if you did it that day. That can be things as simple as, did you make your bed that day? Did you wash your face that day? Did you exercise, drink enough water, all the little habits that really add up to have a productive day and just help you achieve your goals. So that's what that is. And for the weekly layouts, there are a few to choose from and you get all of them so you can mix match as you please. This one is an hourly divided by the day of the week. And then also this week at a glance. Now this one is more into detail. Um, it has like a little area to include a calendar. It has some notes area. Um, and then also a little tracker here if you want to track some daily tasks. And then also some to-do bullet points. And uh, yeah, it's just more um you know detailed and then this one is a little more uh laid back a little easier to fill in it's not very specific uh you just kind of list it so you can mix match like i would use these two maybe together um and yeah you just get to put them together how you want and also this family planner now this one is more like i think so everybody knows where everybody should be at during the week um yeah just uh, you write the family member's name on top and then going down each day, Monday through Sunday. And then also a, wheel, uh, a weekly meal plan uh, in case you don't want to include that in your weekly week at a glance. You can have it separate. And also a chores list. Now this chores list is not for me. I think I would use it for the boys. Um, I have flowers on it, but it's okay. Um, and I would just write their name on here and the chores that are assigned to each one and then they can go ahead and check them off as they go and again i would probably laminate this one like i would laminate my own and for a daily layout this one you guys i really really like how it turned out uh it has everything that you might need for those busier days it has a day by uh sorry hour by hour uh your meals you get to track the weather uh your water intake the mood to-do list priorities and then even the little corner so you can add what uh, you have to do or what to prioritize the next day so i really like it my home binder i'm keeping it simple in here i got all the dividers all of my important information is in here and i will share with you what it looks like in here in a separate video today i'm just sharing with you guys the layout and what I am using them for. These pages are also part of the ultimate mom slash life planner, uh, but you can opt out from those pages and purchase only the 2022 planner. Or if you already have a 2022 planner that you love, but you are looking for like a home management planner, then you can purchase this bundle also. And in the home binder, along with um, the debt tracker, the income tracker, the expense tracker, you will also find a little more of the uh, important information like emergency information, emergency contacts, uh, family information. So you can really go into detail if there's anybody with allergies or blood type, uh, if there aren't any medications, just in case of any emergency and somebody that doesn't know the family member needs to help them. And then also insurance information for, and there's a section for each type, your home, auto, life, all of that in there. And then for your utilities uh, in case you need to contact any utility service uh, so your company uh, the website contact phone number um, and if you pay online then you can you put your username your password on there also and contacts for friends and family you know write them a letter and then also uh, streaming apps streaming slash apps this is for like your netflix and your disney all those apps that you need to track that you're actually paying for so it's got a, a space for you to write the website your username your password uh, how much you pay for it when it's due what payment card you use uh, to pay it uh, to pay for it and then also a note in case you split the bill with somebody because somebody shares your your password or whatever <laughs> and then also uh some babysitter information if you are hiring somebody that's not you know a sister family member that's going to watch over your kids uh this is a little um overview of information that they might need like if they need to contact you and then also some um uh, emergency information uh, poison control police department fire department that sort of thing and then the school information my kids are homeschooled but uh, most kids i don't know 
I don't know now, but uh, school information in case you need to contact your school, uh, your kid's school, and you can print one out each year for each kid and then even include uh, some of their uh, schedule. And the fun stuff, uh, I added this in here so you can fill in with your favorite recipes and you can print as many as you want. And then also a few pages for party planning. Uh, this one here is more of an overview for the party, like the guests, the food, the cake, that sort of thing. And then pre-party to-do list. That is what this is. It's a list of things that you need to do before the party. And then if you are having any games, here is a game list. So that is my planner. Again, you guys, it is available for digital purchase download. Digital download purchase. Digital purchase. It's not a physical product, you guys. I can't offer that to you guys right now, but you can download these pages for a couple of dollars off this week and next week i am going to extend the sale because i am just sharing this information with you guys uh but i've uh i've shared it with you over on my instagram but i am going to be extending that little sale over for next week so you guys can jump on board and pick one up for yourselves and put it all together to fit your needs that is it for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on the next one what you want to be in the video Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> Wipe your mouth. You have cookie crumbs everywhere.